All right, boys and girls, we're going to start a new project. But before we do that, we're going to learn about a new artist whose name is Laquina. She's a contemporary artist, and that means she's alive and making artwork today. She's also what we call a mural artist. A mural artist means she makes really large works of art, and usually these are painted on the side of a wall or a building. So you see these a lot in cities. You can see her standing right here in front of one of her very large murals that she has painted. Here's another picture of her painting this very large mural on the side of a building in a city. Another picture of her looking at one of her murals. So a really interesting thing about her murals is that she has a very specific style. So her style is that she uses a lot of bright colors. And the reason why she uses those bright colors is because it makes her mural very eye catching. It makes people want to stop and look and read her mural. The reason why she wants to people to stop and look at her mural is because she always writes a very inspirational quote on her mural. This one says, lift you higher. So it's something that will inspire people. And she wants people to read this message. And so that's why she paints these in a large city with a lot of people. Another part of her style is she uses a lot of bold shapes. And she repeats these bold shapes and lines all over her mural. And this creates what we call a pattern. You can see one more of her murals here. The inspirational message. This one doesn't have a lot of shapes, but it is very bright and eye catching. Another one right here, a ton of patterns in the background. So, what we're going to do is we're going to think about Laquina's style and get some inspiration. We're going to be designing our own type of mural that could be painted one day, but we're not actually going to paint a huge mural. We're going to design a mural and we're going to be designing these on the computer. This is what we call a digital work of art. So you're going to be not drawing or painting. You're actually going to be using a computer to put shapes together to make a mural design, a picture of a mural. So you're going to be thinking of your own inspirational quote, something that you think could inspire people, something that you think is a positive message to people. This student chose you have a hero inside. They're thinking about their shape patterns in the background and colors that are very bold and eye catching. Here's another student who has created their mural design and they're using, again, a lot of bold, colorful, eye-catching shapes and designs in the background and their inspirational quote on the top. Another student and another student here. So you can see that these, again, are very eye-catching. They're very bold. Each of them has a different inspirational idea put in the center of their mural. So while you're thinking about your design ideas, I want you to think about, again, pattern. How are you gonna take some shapes and lines and repeat those shapes and lines to make patterns in your background? That's one thing we're gonna focus on. We're also gonna focus on balance. Balance is a principle of design, and it just means when I put shapes and lines together, starting in the center and everything kind of works out from the center and is the same on both sides, that means it's symmetrically balanced. I want us to think about symmetry and symmetrical balance for our mural design. So what you're going to start with, boys and girls, is actually a plan. At your table, your desk, you're going to be using this worksheet here and your sketchbook to think about a plan first. So this has a couple questions to guide you when you're thinking about your plan and you're going to be sketching an idea in your sketchbook. So you're going to be thinking about what your mural wants to say. Think about a positive message. What shapes and lines will be included and what colors will be included. So you're going to take out your sketchbook and just make a little sketch plan of how you want your mural to look and then you're going to come check that with me.